Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Laura. And I'm Anna. Um, today we're going to be joined by my baby, my 23 year old baby Max from Slept Talk Guy is going to be joining us virtually. He's going to join us and uh, he'll be making a carb free recipe for us. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like our videos. We love to hear from you. Hey y'all, Max here, the Slab Talk Guy, and I know I have glasses, I'm a freaking nerd. Behind the camera, I'm a complete nerd, and I wear glasses because I can't see a freaking thing. And today, we are cooking my favorite keto, low-carb, and especially diabetic-friendly 90-second bread. I did not invent this recipe. I found this recipe from a million different people. I would love to give credit, but I literally, there was a bunch of different people, and I've kind of morphed it into my own little thing. So let's not waste any time, and let's make this bread. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is take one tablespoon, I believe, yes, one, see, I cut it weird, but you're gonna to wanna to take a tablespoon of butter. Take your butter, put it in the microwave. I put it in for, you know, 25, 26, 27 seconds, something along those lines, maybe even 30 seconds. You definitely don't wanna burn the butter or get it too hot because we're gonna be putting an egg in here in a couple seconds too, so it doesn't wanna to be too crazy hot, but you know, with something like 25 seconds or so. Hey, real quick, while the, while the microwave is going, you're well, more than welcome to turn on your uh, hot plate or whatever the heck it's even called. I don't know why I said hot plate, but you turn on your pan because we are going to be toasting these. Put it on like a low to medium, just you want to get it going. You you know, to, for the keep, the thing with the bread is this, I, I hate to talk too much, sorry, but the thing with this bread is it's really freaking good, but you got about five minutes to eat it because if you wait, it gets stale and kind of just dry, not good. So you definitely do want to keep the ball rolling with this thing. So you turn your oven on, I put it on just medium or something to get the pan a little bit hot. hot. Okay, the bowl, if it's anything like mine, is going to be freaking hot. So definitely make sure to use one of these. Use a rag or something. Is good to go. We need almond flour. You can get this at Costco. Costco has the literal best Kirkland brand Costco almond flour. I unfortunately, my membership expired. So now I have to get it from Bob's Red Mill. They have it at Kroger, Meyer, Publix, Whole Foods, anywhere else. They have it at Aldi too. I freaking love Aldi, but honestly, the almond flour at Aldi kind of sucks. So maybe go on Amazon, something like that. But almond flour, super low carb, great for you. We need three tablespoons. You just kind of eye it, but around three ish tablespoons. And last but not least, y'all, this, this is the easiest thing ever. Last but not least, good old fashioned baking powder. This is very easy. Now what you need is, you know, a teaspoon or so. And of course, me being the lazy person I am, I just eye it with a tablespoon. But I, you know, I, about a teaspoon, give or take a little. And actually, I'm sorry if I completely just lied to you guys. We have one last ingredient, and that would be a good old-fashioned egg. Put it in there. That is why I was saying you don't want to melt the butter too much because then it might get a little bit cooked, if you know what I mean, a little bit scrambled egg-ish. So what we're going to do is just mix the whole thing. And sorry, my camera... I'm kind of over here. <laughs> sorry. I would totally mix this in front of the camera, but the bowl is still really hot, and... Um, this is kind of my tripod thing. So give me one second. Bada boom. Looks so, so something like this. If you can see that, there you go. Um, yeah, I put it in a bowl. Very, 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 very easy. I do it all in one bowl, to be honest, just to keep it. I, I don't, not, I'm not one to do dishes. So if we do it in one bowl, got it right there. I, you're supposed to put it in for 90 seconds. I put it in for 82 seconds because honestly, 90 seconds, a little too dry for me. So I put it in for 82. It's kind of right that sweet spot. <laughs> And while that's going, you know, hey, if you don't have a microwave, I'm sorry. It's just, this is just not the recipe for you. And if you don't, I totally understand. These, these things are probably, you know, god awful for me and the environment. I'm sorry, but hey, I have one. I love my microwave. I use it very often and it is what it is. But if you don't have one, I, you could probably make it in the oven, maybe. It would take way longer and I don't know how it would hold its shape. But if you had the right 
thin. You could probably make it in the oven, but it's pretty cool. It tastes phenomenal. And so what we're gonna do now, while that's on 82 seconds, while that's counting down, you're gonna wanna turn up your oven. I'm just totally blanking. It's not an oven. It's the, what is the name of this? Comment below. If you guys know what I'm talking about, this stupid thing, what is it? It's not an oven. I'm just like having a total brain fart. Anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, hit the comments below and let me know because this is kind of bugging me. But anyway, whatever this stupid thing is called, turn it up a little bit to hide because we are gonna toast the crap out of this bread. And I'm telling you guys, that is the icing on the cake. That's what I was saying. I kind of changed up this recipe. I found it, I've added my own to it, and now this is kind of my own little thing. And the toasting it is definitely my kind of a thing, and it tastes amazing. And also, hey, for all the diabetics, type one or type two, this is great. It's incredibly low carb compared to normal bread. It, it shouldn't do anything to your blood sugar, but I've heard people that it does. So just keep an eye on it. But even if it did, you wouldn't need a lot of insulin or whatever you take to correct it. it it's very, very, very low carb. This whole bread, both slices probably has like three or four grams of carbs and that doesn't include the fiber so incredibly low carb that was our microwave let's pull this thing out Oh, I have a fly in my kitchen. Anyway, ignore the fly, please. Anyway, this is how I do it. I grab my spatula, I dry it up with a paper towel, and I rip the paper towel in half. Don't ask me why I think this is so smart. It's really not that smart. I just think this is freaking brilliant, though. Love to show you guys, but I really kind of can't. So what we're gonna do, I'll try to, you know what? I'm gonna try to show you guys, actually. Let's do this. I'm gonna grab the bowl, and I'm gonna put this really, 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 really hot bowl in front of the camera. So this is what we're gonna do. This thing is now, it's, it is cooked, one would say, and so I take my spatula and I rough it around the edges. If you can't see, I greatly apologize, but I promise to you, this is not difficult. I'll tell you what, I have very little cooking IQ, if you can't already tell, and I can do this very well. So now we have a piece of bread. If you can't see, it is steaming hot. That's why you have the towel, very hot. So this is what I do next. I take some paper towel that I just ripped in half. I put one down on my table, that's where I put the bread on. So let's do that. And I take the other paper towel and I put it on, I kind of fold it in half and I put it on top of the bread while I'm cutting it. So this is when you want to cut it in half. This bread is a little bit on the flimsier side. So you, when you are cutting it in half, you want to make sure you really get a good straight cut. And so that's why I put this thing on and I can just cut it perfectly like this. And once again, I would love nothing more for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing, but my videos are much easier. Cooking is hard. I mean, you know, this is, this is, this is hard. This is, this is much harder. My videos, I just get to talk and ramble and this is a little different. Okay, so here we go. I cut, I cut it right through and then I cut it down the middle. So what you're left with so what you're left with is this. You basically, if you cut it like how I did, I cut it on the middle, I cut it in the, you know, and then the, the other middle, and then you have four pieces of very steaming hot toast, which is like literally burning my hand. Now it is done. Now we go back to that hot plate thing I was talking about when we put this on. But before we put it on, I take a little bit of my handy dandy canola oil and you spray it. And you know what? Is it healthy? Probably not. It's probably not healthy, but when it comes to just general blood sugar, you know what? It does, this, this doesn't raise, does, does it, it doesn't raise my blood sugar, so I do it. So we put that toast on. If you can't hear, we are cooking, and this thing is hot and ready to go. And there you go. Same thing, we did the one side, now let's spray on the top side that is not on the heat right now, just so they're evenly sprayed, if you know what I'm talking about. And once again, is it healthy? Probably not, you know, it probably isn't healthy. Is it delicious though? Yeah, it is pretty freaking good. And I have to apologize, my kitchen's a literal mess. It's a pit right now. I mean, it is just an absolute pit. Oh, I'm a clean, I'm such a clean person. I'm sorry, but it is just a mess. So I do have to apologize for that. But you want to give this about 
30, I mean, it really depends on the heat. If you have it pretty hot now, like how I do, you get 30 seconds or so. Check it, doesn't make one bit of difference. Just keep your eye on it. See, let's see where we're at. And, oh shoot, wow, this is cooking, holy crap. Okay. So yeah, maybe give it like, wow, this is really cooking. Maybe give it like 30 seconds. Here we go, okay. Wow, that cooked. This is ready to go. So you can call it toast. It's basically a keto, low-carb, diabetic-friendly version of toast. It has a lot of butter in it, so if you're not a fan of butter, which who isn't, but if you are not a fan of butter, this might not be the one for you because there's a lot of butter in this recipe, but you'll see for yourself. Give it a shot. You we have all the same ingredients. I know for a fact you have eggs, probably. You for sure should have butter. You for sure have baking powder. The almond flour, that'll be the one ingredient, but go to your local Target, go to Meyer, go to Publix, go to Kroger, go to Aldi. You could literally go to Costco, Sam's Club, go to anywhere. They have almond flour for freaking sure, and if you do not want to leave your house, go on Amazon because they definitely have, they have a lot of almond flour on there, and they have very good almond flour on Amazon, so I can hear that down there. We are cooking, and it's just about done. So, you know, you do it to your own liking. This is how I like it, though. And let's take it off. Here we go. This is it. The moment of truth. And this, my friends, is my keto, low-carb, diabetic-friendly, 90-second bread recipe that I had no business at all inventing, and I'm not even going to stand here and act like I didn't invent it, because I did not, but it is amazing. I make this literally almost every day, and is it going to give me a heart attack in the next, you know, couple years? Probably, for all I know, God only freaking knows, but the last thing I do, which probably does not help for my heart health, is I go and get some butter, which I leave outside. This looks so nasty, I promise it's not, but I take this thing which has butter inside, and this looks disgusting, I promise you, I'm actually a clean person. But I take some of this butter, put it on this, and it's freaking delicious. Well, y'all, that's a wrap. Matt, you're the celeb talk guy. This is my, that is my, not my, that is my favorite 90 second keto, diabetic friendly, low carb, bread, toast, whatever you want to call it that I make literally every single day. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you are new to my mom and her cousin, my cousin too, their channel, please give them a follow, subscribe, hit the comments below. I can definitely, I love to hang out and cook and do all this kind of stuff. So definitely, please make sure to hit that. It means the world to them. They're just getting started. And so, uh, you know what? They're real close to hitting a thousand subscribers. So definitely, please make sure to hit that follow, subscribe button. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.